Stephen Terry from the Hardwick, Abergavenny, Southside Abergavenny. The Hardwick's all about just a good, honest delivery of uh, quality food. Our philosophy is based on simple produce, um, local, where, where, where possible, which is quite a lot. I mean, all our livestock and most of our veg is local. But what we don't get locally, you know, we get some nice stuff from Italy, France and Spain, but that's it, we don't get anything further than that. At the end of the day, it's Ron Seal cooking, it does what it says on the menu. OK, uh, quick and easy main course. Not a lot of people like cooking fresh fish at home, because I understand it's not, not everyone goes to local fishmongers, because generally they don't exist. Um, most large supermarkets have a nice sort of fish, fish you know, fishmongers. Um, we're going to cook a piece of sea bass that's actually from the Gower, from Gower Peninsula. And we're going to make, uh, just nice and simple, um, I've got a, a, some spinach here that's, uh, it's sea spinach, it's foraged for us um, from, the, from near Chepstow in the Sef Seven Estuary. And you can replace that with just normal large leaf spinach or a, sw a Swiss chard leaf or, or even a piece of like Savoy cabbage or something. It's sort of just having a little bit of a bed underneath the sea bass really. Um, so we're going to have sea bass pan fried, we've got some spinach, I've got a few green beans which are actually what we call bobby beans which are like English green beans which I've cooked and split in half and left over there so I'll get those in a minute. Um, and in the sauce I'm going to have, I've got a little bit of stock because we obviously as chefs have stocks hanging around all the time because we use them for lots of things but you can use a a, a vegetable stock or a white chicken stock and you know there's nothing wrong with using a, a stock cube at all. Um, I use them at home. Um, we've got some pine nuts, some capers, we've got a, a flat portobello mushroom that's been cooked, we've just cooked this by placing it on a tray and baking it in the oven uh, so that's actually cooked so I can finish the sauce with it without having worried to cook it. And a little bit of lettuce, I want to finish the, the um, sauce with a little bit of lettuce which sounds quite unusual but the lettuce just wilts through it, gives it a nice freshness. Uh, and splash of cream, I oh, want some anchovies, I like a bit of anchovy, it has a nice little, little saltiness to it. So these are the beans, we've just split them in half, so obviously you can, the, the beans sort of, it's got a natural, you know, sort of seam in it. And I just split them in half, it's just to look a bit nicer. Uh, right, a bit of oil. That's for the bass. When you put the fish in, make sure you put it in, as all chefs say, put it in away from you, so that if it does splash, it will splash away from you and not onto you. Put that on the stove, just slightly going to, I'm not going to do it too harsh because otherwise, if you do it too fast and too hard, it will scorch around the outside of the skin and get dark and look like it's been burnt. So, and the other thing a lot of people do, it naturally curls up a little bit. Always try and resist from pushing it down because it will, it will relax. And so in here, I can add my stock. You can see it's quite hot, put a little bit of water in there. If, um, if the pan is quite hot and something starts to reduce too quickly, add some water, because all the water will do is evaporate anyway, so it just it gives you more time, you know, to, you know, so you just stay in control of the dish, you know. Uh, so slice the mushroom up. Sorry, Nick. So it's just nice. Just go in there like that. My capers and my pine nuts, I'll add those in now. Thank you very much. Just going to shred a little bit of this lettuce up. Like so. It does cook down, you know, considerably. I mean, it's 99.9% .9 water. So that just goes in there. No, I know, it's, it is a bit. Add a little bit of salt now, because what the salt does will just bring any sort of excess water out of the ingredients, and that obviously acts as a seasoning as well. So you see, I mean, <coughs> I mean, it's, that stock is essentially sort of, it's, it's there, but it's, it's reduced a little bit, but it's soaked up into the lettuce. We'll add a splash of cream. It's not a massively wet sauce, it's just something to keep it all nice and moist. And you have a look at the sea bass now. The sea bass, you know, they put the butter in, the butter's going brown. You get a little bit of colour on the bass skin like that. I will add this in now. And the beans. All the flavours in there together, we're not losing anything. 
splash, splash of cream. It's not a lot. A little bit of seasoning on the greens, which is here. It's not, when you say sea spinach, it's not actually that salty. It's, it's not like something like seaweed or samphire, which grows on, on, on the coast. And we've got our uh, anchovy fillets here. These are nice salted anchovies. We get these from, uh, they're Spanish ones. It's a company, uh, Ortez, and they're, they're very, very good. They're like eating fudge. And I like them. And I'm not, I don't like really bony ones, you know, like, you know. Finish that into the sauce. I'm going to finish with a little bit, nice glug of olive oil into there. And the sauce is essentially ready now. Fish is about a minute away. Let's grab a plate and we'll place up. So there's our greens there. I can just demonstrate to our uh, viewers who are probably a little bit nervous about how to, well, how do I know it's cooked? That's the big thing about cooking fresh fish. Best thing to do is take a, a toothpick and pass the toothpick just into the top of the fish. And if it offers any resistance, then you know there's a little bit of fish that's not cooked. Just needs another sort of 30 seconds on the skin side. You could always pop it in the oven. So just put that in the middle. We've got the sauce. A splash of, splash of water. And we can see it's just, you know, it's, it's just all the flavors. I mean, it's, it's, it's not rocket science, that's for sure. It's nice and earthy. It's a nice for, you know, come home. Nice cold night outside. You know, good cooking is about being bothered, you know, at the end of the day, I mean, because it's so easy just to pick something up a takeaway or whatever. You know, whatever suits and, you know, this, I don't expect everyone to rush out and start doing it, but I mean, it, it can just encourage a few people to start sort of thinking about maybe, you know, yeah, once a week we'll make the effort and do it. I mean, even just once a week. You can really taste those anchovies. Beautiful, like, nice saltiness coming through, but it's not like a, someone's over-salted a dish, you know, it's the actual flavor of the anchovy. Beautiful piece of sea bass. Pop him on top. I love my olive oil. And there we are. Happy days.